Hi there, my name is Hunter Buren. I'm a HubSpot implementation specialist at Evenbound. I've been working in HubSpot every single workday for over five years now. So I love the tool, love building out a lot of different items for our clients inside of HubSpot. And today we're going to talk about something that we've covered in this blog article that I have up right now, the difference between sequences and workflows when it comes to sending out automated emails inside of HubSpot. I want to cover what are those differences? When would you utilize each of these individual tools um, and why it is important to utilize both as well for different occasions? So let's talk through what are sequences and workflows. I'm going to share a sequence that we have built out inside of HubSpot and cover some of these. Both email sequences and workflows inside of HubSpot can be found in this automations tab under either workflows or sequences. And they're both tools that are utilized for email automation, but they're utilized for a lot of very different contexts in terms of what that email automation is. For a quick overview, sequences are going to be a sales tool. They're available at Sales Hub Pro plus uh, hubs and they're really utilized for one-on-one -on -one personalized email communication from your sales route. Workflows, on the other hand, are a marketing tool. Those are available, uh, complex workflows are available at Marketing Hub Pro Plus that send out automated emails. These are going to be utilized for automated bulk nurturing of contacts. They both save a lot of time and improve your outreach whether you're reaching out to warm leads um, and or reaching out to cold leads that are just coming out through your site, having an automated uh, drip of emails coming out, whether it's through a sequence or a workflow, is an incredible way to just nurture your contacts automatically without really having to worry about it and also having some personalization in there as well. So let's talk about sequences a little bit further, um, dive into what they're used for. So sequences are utilized um, specifically for sales reps following up with either hot or warm leads. These emails that we have inside of sequences are sent directly from your inbox. These are one-to-one -one personalized plain text emails. So if I were to enroll a contact in this sequence, it would look exactly like I'm manually sending them out these emails inside of HubSpot. Within sequences, you can set a series of certain emails um, at whatever delays you have. You can also create tasks automatically for you to follow up. And if a contact either replies to one of those emails or books a meeting with you while they're enrolled in that sequence, you'll get that reply and meeting back into your inbox and that contact would be automatically unenrolled from that sequence, which is super helpful. Um, Sequences are great for helping reps save time while still keeping things personal. As we can kind of see here, I'm importing and putting in the first name of the contact and their company name as well automatically into this sequence. Now, workflows, on the other hand, are built for marketing teams to nurture colder leads at scale. So these are going to be triggered by specific actions as we have in this use case, uh, this nurture drip campaign would be triggered by a contact filling out our newsletter form. Uh, and they're going to send out more stylized uh, emails. You can include images, videos, et cetera, in these marketing emails, which you wouldn't be able to include in sequences. They're also sent out by um, through HubSpot by any connected inbox you have inside of HubSpot. So you don't have to send it from your direct email. You wanna send it from a marketing email or anything like that. Within workflows, there's a ton of additional automations that you can do. You can automatically assign uh, people tasks, update lists, trigger other workflows, et cetera. Um, so there's a lot of additional things you can do within your drip campaign that might be more internally facing um, marketing tasks as opposed to the emails that you're also sending out within that drip campaign. 
Um, as I mentioned, we can create a drip campaign for, in this case, sending out emails, nurturing people from our newsletter, trying to maybe get them to sign up for additional uh, information, purchase something through our site, et cetera. So the question comes, when do we utilize sequences versus when do we utilize workflows inside of HubSpot? Now, sequences are going to be utilized for a one-on-one -on -one follow up from a sales rep. Workflows, on the other hand, are going to be utilized for ongoing nurture for segmented lists. What that kind of means, sequences are going to be manual and personalized. You're gonna, your sales reps will be manually enrolling contacts in these sequences that they seem they deem fit. And then after that, those, auto, those emails will automatically go out to those contacts with those personalized uh, items inside of the sequences. Workflows, on the other hand, are automated and scalable. These are going to be automatically pulling in contacts, sending out those emails, and they can also send to a lot larger of a group of contacts uh, because they're not those one-to-one -one emails um, and contacts that are a little bit less qualified out than the ones that you would be enrolling in the sequence. Um, both are incredibly powerful tools and super helpful for, again, giving you some time back when it comes to outreach. It just depends on what the type of outreach you're doing inside of HubSpot, whether you would utilize a sequence for it or a workflow. I definitely encourage you from watching this video, start exploring these tools if you have them available inside of your HubSpot account. Um, clicking around and working through building out a sequence versus building out a workflow is going to be the best way for you to start to learn how to get these uh, tools up and running. There's definitely, as with every new software, there, there will be a learning curve, but exploring all the different triggers and actions for both sequences and workflows is the best way to get your hands dirty and really understand these different tools. Um, that being said, Evenbound, we are a HubSpot Diamond Solutions partner. Um, we do offer technical and strategic help with HubSpot to help companies grow. So if you want to have a conversation with us around utilizing sequences or workflows for some automated email campaigns, we are incredibly happy to help build these out for you or just talk through what's the best strategy with utilizing these. Um, we have a link down in the description of this video that you can reach out to us with um, if you do need a hand with some of these different items inside of HubSpot, maybe even outside of email automation with workflows and sequences. We do all of that under the sun when it comes to HubSpot. So thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I hope you found this informative on when to utilize email sequences versus uh, workflows inside of HubSpot. And I hope you continue to grow your HubSpot knowledge and work in the platform. Have a wonderful day.